Okay, this is to explain how to use the production possibility curve diagram. Production possibility curve shows the maximum potential combination of outputs an economy can produce with its current resources and technology. So, let's assume we've got an economy which can produce only TVs or DVDs. If they put all their resources into TVs, they produce a given quantity of TVs, let's call it OC. But if they put all their resources into TVs, they won't be able to produce any DVDs, so you get no DVDs. If they put all their resources into producing DVDs, you get a given quantity, let's call it OF, but they would produce absolutely no TVs. And if they split their resources between the two possible uses, they'd end up with these combinations. So there's a numerous combinations, draw them all together, and that gives you the production possibility curve. The thing about production possibility curve is that it can be used to show opportunity cost, the next best alternative foregone, what you give up when you do something else. So in this case, let's assume the economy moves from point X to point Y. It moves along its production possibility curve. It's still using all of its resources, but now, instead of producing OB TVs and OD DVDs, it is now going to produce OA TVs and OE DVDs. So by moving along there, they can produce more DVDs. The distance DE more DVDs. The problem is that they have to give up producing some TVs. TV production goes from OB to BA. So the opportunity cost of this increased production here is this decreased production there. The other thing you need to know about production possibility curves is what causes a production possibility curve to shift. In this diagram, our original production possibility curve is AC. If we get more factors of production, such as land, labour, capital or enterprise, or we improve the technology we have in the economy, so with our existing resources we can produce more, then the whole production possibility curve would shift outwards. In this case, we can now produce more DVDs without having to give up producing any TVs because the economy has grown. There is no opportunity cost in this case.